Hi, hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome to my life. Marie Fashion Dark. Yep. All right. Hi, everybody. Hello, I'm Laura Madden, and we are here at the New Fashion Art Studio. And uh, I'm excited to be back here because I was uh, not here for a week, and it just feels good to be in here, even though it is so hot here in Phoenix. If you're local, I know you feel me. If you're not, I think this morning I was going out at like uh, 10 a.m. and it was like 101. And it actually felt too hot. I love the heat. I love the heat. That's why I live here. Well, not only, but it's part of why I live here. Hey, Danielle, how are you, girl? We are good. How are you doing? You guys, you should come out and visit. You should do an art trip for the summer. We have amazing uh, galleries here and all kinds of fun, like artist stuff, events, exhibits. And I know how much you love that hot summer hot summer weather it's about I think 110 one no it was 111 actually driving home just a bit ago it was 111 Danielle come visit 111 here in the desert you'd love it such a change from the English uh, you know that English chill English fog all right guys just wanted to share some fun things I did a whole bunch of lives uh, gosh, was it last week or the week before last? I don't remember now. I feel like maybe it's the heat. All the days are kind of like running into one. Um, but I did a really fun live with investing expert in realtor, Michelle Bailey. It's actually on her feed at the Michelle Bailey. I'm going to uh, post that again in my stories today so you guys can check it out. Short and sweet. Great conversation, though. We talked about my artwork. Um, she was so kind to invite me on. Uh, her platform and introduced me to her audience and her network. So we talked about refashion art. We talked a lot about sustainability and how we can be more sustainable in the home, in lifestyle in general, home, fashion. And um, we talked about my style, which was fun when people asked me about that because it's just, it's had such a big impact on my life. And um, I think really figure out, figuring out what is my style has been it, it's kind of like been almost like a healing journey for me and it's it really is just about knowing thyself and um, getting clear with yourself trusting yourself and then implementing what what is you know beautiful for you what feels good to you in your life and it's really you know it is true beauty heals and just like you know your wardrobe your um, you know the people you surround yourself with your home you know, your environment really matters and it can lift you up or lift you down or take you down. And it's, again, it's not just about the visual, what you're seeing. It really can be a visceral experience. And, and I do feel like it's the same. Who you surround yourself with as well as what um, can have a huge impact. Hey guys, how are you? Nice to see you, Flora Frenzy, my fashion crowd. Um, then I also did another really cool live, guys. This was a week back oh my gosh I shouldn't I should have just memorized the dates I was with um, lifestyle jewels Julie Zander and Michael Banovac and that was actually filmed on Julie Zander's Instagram lifestyle jewels and that was for the Mo making money making friends podcast that they both host together it was really fun that was an hour long so not exactly short and sweet but very sweet i promise you and we i brought some of my artwork i brought one of my oldest pieces as well as one of my newest completed pieces from the outside the line series that was a great great interview and a ton of fun again it was so kind of them to invite me on their platform and introduce me to their network and their audience because it is a lot bigger than mine i will say that so thank you julie and michael it was a ton of fun and they asked me some hard questions they really did um but it was a great conversation so i hope you'll check that out that is on the feed of lifestyle jewels at lifestyle jewels you guys probably all know her she's amazing and a ton of fun she does a ton of fun things here um so guys what else do i have to tell you um let me see i have some fun promotions but uh, and projects, but those maybe we'll announce next week, not quite yet. Um, I just got back from Northern Arizona, 
where I am spending a lot of time, especially this summer. It's about like 10 to 20 degrees cooler in the summer. And this is one of my newest pieces. I actually did this um, when I was there. Yes, Danielle, let's go to America. You got it, babe. We are here for you. We have a great, we have a great network for you here, for sure, with all the amazing work you're doing, Art for Wellness. Um, so this one here, guys, vintage frame. Vintage frame, this was sourced in uh, Northern Arizona, and then I did this abstract work. So basically, I'm buying for the frame. I repainted the canvas in the frame, but I just, I love this. You guys know, like kind of like the DNA of this brand, Refashioned Art, is that mixing of old and new, the modern with the vintage, and that juxtaposition, it's like the contrast, almost like that tension between, um, you know, something, sometimes a little bit more elaborate on these older antique and vintage frames with something a little bit more minimalist, um, just the abstract edgy art. And that's just like my favorite thing. And you know, with refashion art, all of my work is made using reclaimed materials. So I collect unwanted art. This is one of them. Uh, this is another piece from my Refashion Resculpt series that's 3D, a little more sculptural, but again, reclaimed fabric, using the textiles that would otherwise end up in landfills, and who knows, even though this frame is beautiful, I didn't particularly care for the art work that was in the frame, and who knows, it could have easily ended up in landfills. So, Refashion Art is reclaimed materials. I collect unwanted art, supplies, canvases, frames, paints, all kinds of stuff and I remake them into something new and stylish and cool and maybe for you too. So, you know, a big part of this brand and why I am building a brand is because it's not just about making art, it's not just about selling art, although I have to do that, that is important because this is a business, but it really is about the mission. It's art with a mission and a message and it's the merging of style and sustainability it's also a huge goal of mine because, you know, like I said, style has had a really healing impact on my life. So I, you know, part of my goal with this is to get as much style, art, beauty into as many people's lives and homes as I can because it just feels good. It just feels good when we surround ourselves with things that we feel are beautiful. I mean, I know there's a side of that that could sound a little bit shallow, but the truth of it is, it is human nature and you know what we see it's it's human nature and it does affect us on a visceral level on a deeper level so make sure you know your style um, wear clothes you love wear um, you know a outfit your home as well as yourself in items that you love because it is a mood lifter it is a mood lifter and I really think it actually um, elevates your trust and your confidence in yourself as well because you're just feeling good you know, and it's like, yeah, I picked this, I did this. And you know what guys, I actually have a huge inventory of art. Um, I've always made my own art in my adult life anyway, but to decorate my own homes, we've moved many, many times from my husband's job. And so I would just make my own art to uh, decorate our homes each time we moved. And it wasn't until towards the end of 2019, I'm not really sure what came over me. Um, I, I hadn't turned 40 that year, I was well into my 40s, but I think something about turning 40 a few years earlier, uh, it did have an impact on me like I realized wow, you know, like time is going Fast and it's not coming back and so I, I Slowly started to get you know get into the mindset that I need to be doing work that is so fulfilling on me on every level and for me um, Art is it and so I feel so grateful to be doing this slow but steadily building this brand, building this business, but like I was saying, I do have a pretty extensive inventory. Uh, everything is here at my home studio, so if you need art, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. My website is iamlauramadden.com forward slash art, and that's where my portfolio of original work is. It really is kind of like my online portfolio of original work. Um, it is not 100% updated, but I will say it's 98% updated this one's not on yet although this one is completed and i apologize i don't actually have the measurements to this but it is a decent size so this is me so it is a decent size um and guys you know what if you don't have room for wall art you don't need wall art i also do sell prints so you can have little itty bitty things made as well as merch so i again i do have prints but limited prints and 
Um, anything that's available as a print on my website, the print's website is actually shop.iamlauramadden.com. That, that is linked in the bio, so don't worry, but shop.iamlauramadden.com where you can purchase prints and merch. It is also linked, of course, on iamlauramadden.com. But uh, you can print any of my prints. You can have them printed on fun gifts, such as mugs, tote bags, uh, coasters. That's a really big seller. Phone cases, that seems to be trending at the moment, and I'm really excited about it because um, I have one of my favorite prints. It's actually a painting I did that I made my logo, but that's what I have on my phone case. And you know what? I mean, the truth of it is, <laughs> Modern world, we're on our phones all day long. We're on our phones probably more than, you know, probably see our phones more than anything else or anyone else, uh, which is just the truth of modern life. So why not put a custom phone case on your phone? Why not put a stylish piece of art on your phone case so that every time you look at it, again, your mood is lifted because you're looking at something you love and something that you think is stylish and cool. So check out shop.iamlauramadden.com and again, any of the prints that are available there, you just click on that print and it's gonna give you all of the options to actually print that print on a um, piece of wall art, which would be fine art paper, watercolor paper, plexiglass, canvas, metal and wood, or you could print it on a piece of merchandise, the cool gifts, and it's all listed right there. So if you see a print you like, you just click on that print, and then all of the options of how you can get that print are gonna be all right there on the same page. And the phone cases are right there. Uh, pretty much any phone that's on the market right now, you can make the phone case for that model phone. But again, some really big sellers, the tote bags, the coasters, um, I actually have greeting cards on there. I'm so old fashioned. You know, if you've purchased an item from me, a piece of art from me, you know you're getting a handwritten note. Um, unless you're bad and didn't give me your address, so make sure you send me your address if you purchase something from me. Uh, so, I'm just kidding. But I do send a handwritten note. I do love greeting cards. And you can get any of the prints available on shop.iamlaurenman.com on a greeting card, which is really fun and cool. Hey, babe. Oh, you bet. Melissa Bailey, I was just talking about our live we did last week. I'm gonna post that. I haven't posted it on this feed yet, but I'm going to post this on this feed. Don't you worry. I'm just a little behind in my posting. I'm trying to stay off this phone <laughs> as much as I, uh, you know, have been on it or am normally on it, but trying to take a little bit less uh, screen time. I feel like I'm always trying to take less screen time, but anyway, so guys, yeah, that's the gist. But you know what, all in all, after that long-winded answer uh, to someone's question about my available artwork. Even if you don't find anything you like on my website, I really encourage you research your local artists. It's so important to support people in your community, uh, especially the small guys, the emerging artists, the guys, guys and girls just coming up. And if not that, I really want to encourage you to make your own art. That's where I started. Um, not that you want to be an artist or you shouldn't want to be an artist or you ever would aspire to that. But it it's so, feels so good to make things with your own hands. Even if you're just playing around, hey, you might surprise yourself. You might get something you love and that you want to put on your wall. Just maybe you will. Uh, yeah, that's kind of like where I started. Um, but, you know, it's also, it makes for such a great conversational piece. If you do, uh, you know, paint something you love or make something you love and you do hang it on your wall or display it in your home when you have people over and, you know, you can say, oh, I made that myself. You know people are going to ask. They ask me all the time. Another reason why I finally decided to get up the courage to just, just like pursue my art professionally and start selling my art. But, um, yeah, it just feels so good to make your own stuff and, you know, to get creative. And just, it's almost like a good outlet for getting out energy and uh, pent up energy and aggression or whatever, anger, whatever, if you have any heavy emotion. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, uh, but kidding. Uh, but if you have any heavy emotion, you know, it's a great way to process that emotion is to get creative and it might not be painting for you. Maybe it's organizing your closet or your cabinet, cooking. I love baking, man. I will tell you, I love baking and it is creative because you're making something and you're putting things together and it's like your own thing. That's another way of being creative um, that has really worked for me, just helping me to feel, sorry, my AC is on full blast. So. <laughs> I keep getting this hair in my face. <gasps> hey, Art Abishiak. I think I said that right. Uh, I'm sure I did. So anyway, guys, really, really, really want to encourage you to make your own art. It just feels good. It's fun. Um, and yeah, great conversational piece. 
uh, if you have people over. So that's my spiel for today. But let me know what you think, guys, of my new piece. So fun. Uh, would love your, I would love your input. What should I name it? What should I name this beauty? I really like it. Uh, I wish I had a spot for it in my home, but my walls are filled. My walls are full, literally. But I love this. I love this frame. And you know what? I'm just going to take this off here. Um, like, look at the detail. I mean, the frame is pretty much perfect. The frame is pretty much perfect. But yeah, good stuff, guys. All right, so links are in the bio. I am lauramadden.com forward slash art for the originals. And then we've got shop.iamlauramadden.com. You want to look at prints and the gifts the art merch, check it out. And honestly, guys, my last ask, <laughs> I got one more ask. My last ask, guys, if you know somebody who would love my art, who would love my style, please share this with them. Share my contact with them. A referral as an artist is like, next to purchasing my art is one of the biggest compliments. So if you know someone that would love my art, it really is the best way for me to grow my audience and my reach is your referrals. So if you know somebody that would love my stuff and appreciate the mission of merging style and sustainability, reducing waste, conserving resources, and making your life more stylish and fashionable in the process, then please send them my way or send them my Instagram. And of course, of course, would always appreciate a follow because hey, it's a modern world. And if you're a business owner, it's actually really important. All right, guys, cheers. I will see you later. Happy Wednesday. I hope it's under 111 degrees wherever you are. All right, bye.